Hey everybody, Kit here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Brooks Legacy. And this time, we got hope. Um, happy hump day. We're halfway there. What, Christmas is from, what, two weeks, I think? Oh, gosh. Honestly, I'm sitting here, and it is, I'm re recording this, uh, November 30th, and I'm like, w where did November go? <laughs> I don't know where my November went. But, yeah, so, um... As you can see, this week with the Brooks Legacies um, update, there's a theme. So yeah, it's going to be short, sweet, and a little daunting with hope. Just a little bit. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Hi, baby girl. Welcome to the world. Maren Brooks, my daughter. Goodness, that is a weird phrase to say. But I like it. See, the world isn't so bad once you got out of that fussy hospital, right? We got Marin home safe and sound into her crib, and once she was home, she was out like a light for a little while. I held her, just overcome, I suppose, with the warm but overwhelming feeling. She's staying in her uncle's old room until I complete my assignment. Until we can go back home. It's not safe here for her or her parents. I'll, I'll be plumbed if I let her grow up here. She was so tiny, but her sweet voice can match that of Poseidon, I swear. Her rage, too. Man, can't she scream! But when she laughs, I can't help but laugh with her. I didn't want to ever let her go. She's just so precious. But see, I can already tell. She's going to turn the world on its head and dance in the resulting rain and ash. She deserves the best life I can possibly give her. And as her mama, I'm going to do my best to give it to her. I love you, sweet baby girl. I know you can't understand me right now, but I hope you know that. You are loved so very much. I am just overwhelmed with love and such fierce protective need. I can hardly bring myself to leave her room. I wonder, Mom, did you feel the exact same way when you had us? The same love and devotion that I feel for my own daughter now? But it was just you. I have Erwin. Andy has Lisa. You had no one, didn't you? How did you do it? Survive these feelings. She's barely been born, and I want to fight the cruelties of this world to burn it down and make it a safer place for her. I want to protect her, but I can already see how I won't be able to. Not forever. What if I die early? What if she gets lost? What if she hates me? Oh, Mom. What do I do? Because it could happen. You died when we were teenagers, and I could die now. I could fail. Both of Mar Marin's parents could. Maybe Erwin should stay home. What if I fail and I don't come home? What if we both do? Then she'll be all alone here. Andy would take care of her, I know, but he doesn't know. No one knows where we're going. I can't tell anyone. Not yet. But I will protect her to the best of my ability. For her, I have to do this. If it's not me, then who will it be? Life as a mother is very different. I am not used to constantly worrying for someone so small, innocent, and completely unable to take care of themselves. Is this what motherhood is like? Just 
constantly worrying, constantly overthinking, and constantly so madly in love with something so itty bitty. Marin is just so perfect. She's small and warm, and her giggles light up my world in a way that I never fathomed anyone could. I love Erwin with my whole heart and soul, but Marin. My love for Marin is different. I can honestly say I would do anything for her. She's my little one, too pure for the stress, concerns, and dangers of this world. I have to get her away from here. She can't stay in Strangerville for too much longer. I have to succeed. I have to. Whoo! Okay. Short, sweet, also foreboding. Um, so as I was like going back through and I'm, you know, grabbing the Twitter posts and stuff and uh, scripting this, I was like, wait a minute. Was there, like, was there the possibility that Hope could have died doing Redacted? I'm sure y'all already have guessed by now. Um, so I looked it up. Yes. <laughs> yes. There is something in particular that can happen and it has a chance of killing your sub. <sighs> I didn't go back and look at my photos of that because I do have the photos, but again, like the whole NDA thing, right? Um, And I am, if I recall correctly, because again, this was 2019, it actually did happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, she, does, she didn't die. She did not die from that. <laughs> but the fact that it happened, <gasps> I got lucky. <laughs> So I'm like, actually, you know what? Hope, you're valid. <laughs> I mean, you want to change the story, even if she couldn't die from it, because, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I got lucky, because I think that, that did happen. I think that happened. <laughs> uh, it might be tempting to do a playthrough and, like, have that symptom. <gasps> What would the ghost be? What would the ghost be? Does anyone know? I might have to go play around in MCC. That might be fun for like a little stream or something. Anyway, um, yeah. So lots of little photos and stuff of cute object baby because I was like so excited and um, honestly adorable little baby. Um, I love seeing Hope as a mother and Andy as a dad as well. Like, they're, I, I love it. I just, I love it seeing it progress. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. And, yeah. Uh, have a great week. And don't forget, where the waters flow, legacies grow. Bye, guys. <laughs>